right, everyone. We're here on a new project that we're, we're doing. Um, it's going to be a um, inexpensive way to repurpose or re-surface um, the countertops, uh, tabletops that we have here in the camper. We bought this uh, vinyl stick. Oh, there it goes. Vinyl stick. Uh, just basically wallpaper or, or what have you looks like wood um, I've already did a, a quick test and on the bathroom and it turned out pretty well so before I made the video I wanted to kind of get an idea of how I uh, you know how to do it and you know this way sounds a little bit better uh, about making this video but um, you know, we've already did the bathroom so we're going to be uh, we have just enough left in this roll to do the kitchen counter, I mean the, the dining room table, and then we'll have to order another roll to be able to do the the actual kitchen countertop, and then there's another little piece over by the bed. As you can see, the camper is in a lot of a mess. We've been doing a lot of work here when it comes to painting. Everything was a little off-white, yellowish tinge. Uh, the wood, the cabinets were wood colored. Uh, the walls were kind of ugly very similar to this in here as you can see the the off-colored ceiling the ugly uh, early 2000s wood um, cabinets and the lack of better term wallpapered walls we're converting that into what you see in here which is a light gray walls I've painted the the ceilings I'm in the process of painting the ceilings we're going with a farmhouse theme in here so we're in the midst of that that's why everything is a mess and uh, figured we'd take a break from painting and do this uh, countertop or this tabletop so uh, let's let's show you what, what I've done already is actually just cut so it's gonna take two two um, uh, strips to be able to cover this so I've cut uh, the two strips that I need and uh, what we do is try to find mark center on this table so the actual seam where the two pieces are going to come together will be right in the middle um, and then uh, once we get it all cut and laid out and stuck down to the top we'll take the heat gun and kind of um, go around the edges so obviously first step in this is to clean the surface real good so we did clean it up real nice made sure all any goo or paint drips or anything that was on it is, is nice and clean and off of it and as clean as possible um, so this stuff can stick directly to the top well, it's a little difficult to do this uh, with one person, and I definitely can't do it while I'm filming, but what I've done so far is I've just rolled back the under peeling a little bit and stuck it. And I, I did make some measurements here. Um, I don't know if you see the red lines, but uh, I did mark center on the table. So I'm trying to get this as straight as possible from the get-go, and now what I'm going to do is I'm just slowly going to take this piece right here from underneath and pull it back as I stick it down all the way down to the end. All right, I try to set the camera up so you can kind of see what I'm doing. But uh, I'm gonna get it stuck here real good. I'm just gonna take this vinyl from underneath and pull it back and try to pull this tight and stick it down, making sure there's no air buckles or anything as we go. So. Just do it. Take your time and do it slow. Pushing any and all of the air bubbles out towards the edges, obviously. Now the next piece is gonna be a little bit more difficult because you gotta line it up, right? on the edge with the other piece. So. Now the ultimate goal here is to, uh, I mean, I think what we're going to do is try to rebuild a whole tabletop eventually. And that's obviously going to take a lot of extra time and money. So this is going to be just a kind of a temporary solution until we can figure out a more permanent solution. I wasn't 
100% on board with this when I first got it. You know, the pictures online, they looked good. But, you know, when they're trying to sell you something, obviously the pictures are going to look good. Uh, but until I did the one in the bathroom, I think it turned out excellent. So, um, I wanted to try a smaller countertop first. And that's why we did that one first. And I was definitely concerned with how I was going to do these edges, these rounded edges. And in the bathroom it had kind of an S-shaped counter. And with the heat gun was able to just get that, uh, you know, you heat this up a little bit and you pull it and you, you just do that around the edges and it actually works pretty good. So anyway, here's half of it done. I'm going to do that again on this side with this piece and then uh, we'll, we'll tackle the edges after that. All right, and there it is, completely on. We kind of still do the edges, but um, the goal is here, and it's kind of difficult to do, is to get these two pieces of vinyl side by side and not on top of each other. This is a little bit of a textured uh, vinyl, so it's kind of nice because it feels more re realistic. Um, but if you have them on top of each other, you'll get kind of this bump here. And, uh, and there is a, a couple places here that I kind of feel it, um, but for the most part it's side by side. And, uh, you know, so far, so good. So we're just going to grab the heat gun and stretch off the sides and, and get that... Uh, Get that ready to go. So when you do the straight side, you don't really have to worry about heating it up unless you really wanted to, because it's just a straight down. But once you get to this curve, uh, and in this situation, it's not a straight angle; it's more of a, you know, a nice, uh, um, it's like, a, like this over here, which I've already done. Um, you just want to put your heat gun on a low hot setting, and. Try to heat it up and you'll see that the vinyl starts to stretch a little. You don't want to put it too hot because you will run a hole. I've done that mistake. You'll melt it to the point where it puts a hole in the, in the vinyl. You cut the strip down so when you start to do this other side, it kind of overlaps the other piece that it comes from this other direction. And you just heat and stretch as you go around the corner. This is definitely not going to be the best option for a countertop cover because you can see some wrinkles and I don't, I mean I'm not a professional. I'm sure there might be a better way to do this. Where you don't have those wrinkles, but when you have these weird angles and these soft turns, and you're dealing with a, you know, a straight piece of uh, this uh, vinyl wallpaper, it's hard to um, avoid that. Now I can heat this up a little bit and try to push out those those wrinkles just to make it look a little bit nicer. But for uh, the item that we use, it's going to be linked in the description of this video, and it's also on our website rdrv.net you'll see a link of all the products we use uh, so if you like this and you want to use the specific stuff you can find it there but um, I, I can't imagine it was more than fifteen dollars ten dollars for this roll and uh, it's a good option to um, you know to have a, a countertop that looks a, a lot better than um, you know the standard from the dealership and this will match our farmhouse theme that we're going for here and like I said this is for now maybe we'll redo this tabletop all together, put real wood in, maybe a butcher block or something, but for now this is going to be a, a nice uh, solution until we can get to that point. That's it.